A lot of snow. Yeah. Multiple feet of snow. We saw some pictures of what the Buffalo Bills Stadium looked like. And could you even see unreal. it? Well, you could see. <laughs> the crazy thing, though, is like, you know, how they had the steps? Yep. It was like a gradual slope, and you couldn't even tell where the seats were. It was that much snow. So wow, so crazy. much snow in such a short time. We're seeing some snow falling here as well. Not like that, but yes, yes we are getting in on the action at this hour. Exact Track 4D radar showing some snow falling. Most of this is just light to moderate stuff, but those deeper, darker blues are a touch heavier. We'll zoom in closer and do some street level mapping for you and in and around parts of Macomb County from Shelby Township up towards Ray Township and even Rochester Hills coming down at a decent clip. And this is going to be adding up as we head throughout the next couple of hours. Just about everybody in Oakland County getting in on the action further west out in parts of Livingston, Washtenaw counties, some light to moderate snow falling in Wayne County. Thus far, it's been fairly light, but you will see some snow add up as we progress through the next couple of hours. So if you're going to be out this evening, just be mindful of that. There is more snow back out to the west. The western half of the state is seeing a more lake enhanced snowfall, and that's why it's coming down heavier and also a little bit more widespread. But regardless, all of us will see some snow this evening. We're also seeing some very cold air. Keep in mind the normal high this time of the year. We're going to be nowhere near it until maybe Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. That's in the 40s. We're talking 20s at best tomorrow. So again, temperatures right now low to mid 20s, close to 30 in some spots, but you factor in those gusty winds and it feels like it's in the lower teens right now. These numbers will be close to and even be below zero in some spots first thing Sunday. Here's the forecast. This is what it feels like. The actual air temperature will be in the teens, but the wind chill at or below zero in some spots, if not lower single digits. We don't get these numbers a whole lot higher during the afternoon with those gusty winds over 25 miles per hour. Wind chills will only be in the upper teens later Sunday. As we progress into Monday morning, you'll see numbers do get a bit better, and that's frankly because the wind will be dying down. But either way you slice it, it's going to be a couple of cold and windy days ahead. Some relief, though, does come next week. Let's get back to the snow. This high res model showing a pretty good job uh, showing the snow moving through even through eight, nine, maybe even 10 o'clock. It's still coming down and it's still adding up. But as we get closer to and then eventually past midnight, it kind of starts to shut off. Maybe a couple of flurries on your Sunday, but we should be starting to dry things out. I think a lot of us half inch, maybe an inch, but a couple of select spots, especially out in the west zone, could see over one inch of snow. So tonight, teens for lows, but again, you factor in that wind. Wind chills will be close to zero, even be below it in some spots. Upper 20s tomorrow with those wind chills only topping out in the upper teens. It's going to be a cold day and a windy day. We'll keep the chance in there for a couple of flurries, but we should see more dry time. Relief comes next week. 40s, even close to 50 by Wednesday and Thursday. Now, long range models not doing a great job handling that late week system. At this point, it looks like rain late Thanksgiving into Friday changing over to some snow by the weekend. So lots to keep an eye on. In the meantime, just stay warm. All right. Thank you, Brett. Can